News Colorado at noon. More than a thousand flights have now been canceled or delayed across the country after a global outage to Microsoft cloud based services. It's not just affecting airports, it's impacting banks, some hospital systems, even our own newsroom. The cybersecurity firm firm CrowdStrike says a faulty update to computers running Microsoft Windows led to major IT issues across the world. We've been reporting on this breaking news all day long and our coverage continues right now. Some airlines at Denver International Airport like Frontier and American lifted their ground stops very early this morning. By 730, every airline said flights were starting to resume. But that doesn't mean issues have resolved. Just take a look at FlightAware right now. We're seeing more than 1,400 delays across the map, 412 cancellations nationwide. It's been a nightmare for a lot of people trying to catch their flight. Your reporters are following the local impacts of this global problem as the effects continue into this afternoon. Joe Illen is at the desk. He's been in contact with hospitals and government agencies all morning long about the challenges they're facing. Your traffic reporter Brian Sherrod is in contact with RTD about impacts at light rail stations. And we start with Justin Adams. He's live at the airport right now. And Justin, a major headache for anyone trying to catch a flight. Yeah, especially if you've been here since, how about this, 3.30 yesterday when you were supposed to be on your flight and you wasn't able to be on your flight because of that worldwide outage. And that's been the story for some people who have been here since then. It's just been a mess all the way around. And you talked about those numbers from FlightAware nationwide. How about what's happening here at Denver International Airport? So far, almost 100 flights have been canceled and more than 400 and 90 flights have been delayed, and the majority of those flights that have been canceled or delayed are through United Airlines. But let me take you through just what people experienced earlier in the day, where you talked about Frontier Airlines. You also talked about American Airlines, where they had had to ground all those flights, where just individuals were trying to go and had to rebook their flights. And even though they tried to rebook their flights, even when they did, but they had the chance to. Unfortunately, the system went down. It's just been a struggle for everybody the whole day around. And some people just weren't happy about it, even as they were just trying to go and get home. We've been all waiting here for like five plus. Some people were waiting here since 4 p.m. yesterday and got rebooked Saturday. So it's a struggle. <laughs> Struggle is it to say the least. There are still some people right here, United Airlines, who are having to go and just rebook their flights, even though they were supposed to leave out this morning, Kennedy. But there is some bright news, to say the least. This is what you could do. You could have a waiver to be able to go and get a brand new flight. You could do that through American Airlines and also through Delta. Make sure that you go and rebook your flight before July 24th to make sure that you change your flight. You could do so without any extra charge. And also, if you have a flight today, make sure you go to flydiver.com again that's flydiver.com just to make sure that your flight is still leaving today a lot of things happening here at Denver International Airport I'm your reporter Justin Adams covering Colorado first Justin thank you for staying on top of this and being